Welcome to the third screencast in the series, Setting Up Products, Price Books, and Opportunities. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to load products into the standard price book and to custom price books via the data loader. This is the fastest method to associate many products to the standard price book and to any other custom price books. Also, this is the step after creating products. We're going to need three pieces, the record IDs of each price book table, the product IDs, and a CSV that has all our product and information, including each product ID and the price book where each product should go. First, let's get the record IDs of each price book table from the data loader. Open and log in to the data loader. Click Export. Select the Price Book 2 object and a location where to save the export file. Click Next. Select the field's ID and name. Click on Finish. Click OK when a dialog box opens. Second, we'll get the product IDs from Data Loader. It's a similar process to what we just did, and we covered it in the previous video, how to load products via the App Exchange Data Loader. It's the success file we got after loading our products into Salesforce. The last step is to prepare our import file. Open a CSV file and enter the columns Product to ID. Use the product IDs generated from the success file from the previous screencast. Otherwise, export a file of product IDs you want to use. Price Book 2 ID. Get the standard price book ID from the file export created in the previous step. Currency ISO code. Used only for multi currency orgs. Otherwise, leave it blank. Unit price, which is the list price or standard price field for the product. Use standard price. We'll leave this blank for now. Is active. This must be set to true to insert. Save the file once done. Next, we'll insert the file into the price book entry object. Open and log in to Data Loader. Click Insert. Select the price book entry object and select the file you created in the previous step. Click Next and click OK to confirm the number of records being inserted. Click on the Create or Edit a Map button and the mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column names should match up if entered correctly. If not, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done. Select a place where to save the success and error files, which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. The next step is to prepare a file to associate products to a custom price book. Use the file from the previous step but alter the price book to ID column with the custom price book ID that was exported in the screencast. Currency ISO code used only for multi-currency orgs, otherwise we'll leave it blank. Unit price, which is the list price or standard price field for the product, use standard price. This should be true or false and indicates whether to use the price from the standard price book or not. False means you will use the unit price from the custom price book and not the unit price from the standard price book. True only works if this product has been added to the standard price book. This choice will use the unit price from the standard price book. For this screencast, I'll put true for each line product. This must be set as active to insert. Save the file once done. Next is to insert the file into the price book entry object again for the custom price books. Open and log in to the data loader. Click Insert. Selecting the price book entry object, 
and select the file you just created. Click Next and click OK to confirm the number of records being inserted. Click on the Create or Edit a Map button and the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column names should match up if entered correctly. If not, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done and click Next. Select a place where to save the success and error files which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. Now let me check if the products are associated to the price books in the org. I'll log into the org and click on the price books tab. Click on the price book named Custom Price Book. Click on the Related List View tab. Notice the products in the price book entries related list. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.